What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode. And in today's video, we're taking a look at none other than Kendrick Lamar, aka KDOT, and the very special merch in support of his now legendary pop-out event that took place earlier this week. Now, before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to the homie Strain Beats, who's been cooking up the beats for these videos, so make sure you guys check them out. And while you're here, you might as well drop a like and subscribe, and join our free Discord to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest. Shout out to all of my chefs in there. Now today's video takes us back just a couple of days ago to June 19th where we would see Kendrick perform at his now legendary pop out event in Inglewood, California. And as with any great concert, you know you gotta have some great merch so I wanted to dive right into this one. Starting off with a very memeable shirt which of course stems from lyrics from Kendrick's diss track Euphoria. Which goes something like, I be at New Ho King eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy crody. And if you're not familiar with what that might be talking about, then it's of course a Chinese restaurant in Toronto titled New Ho King, which Drake would allegedly visit. Now, as this event was just a couple of days ago and these pieces were not available online, I was curious how expensive they would be. And as you can see, resellers are already tripping as most of these pieces are reselling for several hundred dollars over the retail ask. Now, as far as my favorite piece of merch from this pop-out event, it's definitely got to be the following PG Lang hoodie, which references LA culture, and of course is a nod to Kendrick's PG Lang record label, which he started in 2020. And while I can't speak to the quality of these pieces, unfortunately, the pricing of them is pretty consistent with most major artists, as we've seen anyone from Travis Scott charging $55 a tee to other artists as well. And while you do have to still pay tax, it of course beats waiting years for these merch pieces to come online as most artists tend to suck at shipping. Now while there's not a whole lot going on with this collection, I'll admit, I do appreciate the references to LA culture as we just saw with the Lowriders, and just the references to the song Not Like Us in general, as between you and myself, that's definitely my song of the year. And while I do think it's awesome that cheap memorabilia was available to commemorate this event in the form of this $10 little poster, as is tradition, resellers would go on to ruin even this, charging up to 15 times the cost. So even at the cheapest, you're looking at about $150. Now while I did see a mix of reviews online, from fans complaining about the price to the inaccessibility of these pieces, I do want to highlight the following fan-made merch that was spotted at the Kia forum as I think these guys nailed it, and honestly I would pick this up myself if it was available. And while the merch did have people talking online, it was Kendrick's actual concert and performance that was the most memorable part of the night. As it would be streamed online for the free ski, so you know the fans had nothing to complain about. And while I was busy vibing and doing the wop 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 wop, some fans started to see some inspiration and similarities between Kendrick's outfit and none other than the legend himself, Tupac Shakur. Now to really show how deep this connection goes, it was in a 2012 interview that Kendrick mentioned, thanks to his dad, he was actually able to see not only Dr. Dre, but Tupac himself filming the music video for California Love. So for him to be on stage with Dr. Dre performing Pac's verse really felt like a full circle moment and I would be lying if I said I didn't have goosebumps listening to it. And like K.Dot himself would say, sometimes you gotta pop out and show chefs, Kendrick made no exception and popped out with the following $600,000 diamond chain at this event. So if you've been a fan like myself and followed him throughout his career, you'll know that this one was special as he doesn't tend to pop out wearing a ton of jewelry. And let's be honest, 600k on the chain is kinda crazy. Now with all that being said, KDOT's performance and pop out event was legendary on more levels than I can count on one hand. As we would see collaborations from everyone from Kendrick's former TDE and Black Hippie label mates, to transcending gang politics and having every set in LA on the same stage. And while I know it may seem like I'm just nerding out as someone that's been hip to Kendrick's career since the beginning, this was truly a legendary event. And I can only hope that the energy of this continues as not only the industry but the world itself could just use some good healing music and good vibes as we saw at this event. Now if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and I'd love to know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Ultimately, I think that the event itself was awesome and I'm glad that there was some exclusive merch to celebrate this one, although I don't think I'll be able to pick it up anytime soon. And if you're interested in some more Kendrick related content, I covered the merch surrounding his album Damn in the past, so I'll go ahead and link that one in the description. Now as always guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen, let me know what you guys think about this one and what you think about the merch in general. 
And who do you think won the beef after all? As always, guys, remember to stay safe out there as well. And remember, it's lit. Straight up. <laughs> and peace.